friends. Welcome to Math Coding Craft. Hope you all are doing great and loving the projects that we have created so far. So today we are going to create a Flappy Bird game on the same code.org interface. So let's get started without any delay. So as you can see, my interface is already ready, open for you. So again, we are going to do what? We just have to go to this create option. And then we this time we are going to click on view all projects. When we click on view all projects here, you need to just scroll it a little down so that you can see the Flappy Bird project. So here, from here, you just have to click on view full list. So then you will see the whole full list of the projects that you can make on Codorg. So today, as I told you, we are going to create a Flappy Bird game. The game with events as previous few projects we are doing with the help of event blocks. So now let's get started to create a Flappy Bird game. So first thing that we need to do, you already know, we have to rename our project by hitting the rename button. So let's name it Flappy Birdy Game. So you can name it anything that you would like of your own choice and hit save. Okay, so that make sure it would be safe. So you can see my name is saves. Flappy Bird Game, I have saved it on the system. Okay, now again you can see the interface is similar like we did for the basketball game. So here on the left side, you can see the play area. And on the right hand side, you can see the workspace, right? This whole is your workspace. This whole is your play area. And in the middle, you can see the block section. So again, we have lot many blocks. Few are blue in color, few are purple in color. So first, we will arrange our blocks. So these blocks, you can arrange it any way according to your comfort level. And then one by one, we are going to attach the blocks and create a Flappy Bird game. So first, Flappy Bird game, you few of you must have played Flappy Bird game that when we click on it, the Flappy Bird should keep flapping on the screen. So right now, nothing is happening because you can see we have not done any coding for this. So let's get started. Let's first, for any game, we need a background. So first, we will start with the background. So for choosing a beautiful background, we need to drag this. Purple block, set scene, and then attach it under one run. So that we should see our background when we hit the run button. Okay. Now let's choose. So you can see there are a lot many options given to you. So I'll create center background. Okay. So now when I click on run, you will see a center background. Okay. Then next block that we need to add is to set the player. Okay. So as I have chosen center background, so I will be going to choose my player as center, of course. Okay. So set scene to center I have done. Set player to center I have done. Now next thing, when I click on run, you can see now my body has changed to center. Okay. So now what I want, I want my body, my center to set to, you know, flap with a normal, with a particular speed. So first, what we need to do, we need to set its speed and with which speed my center should continue. So I'll set for, I'll go for normal speed. So you can choose any speed of your choice, random, very slow, slow, fast, very. So you can choose any option from these given options. Okay. So now our when run is set. Now let's go to our other blocks that you can see in the workspace. So one is when click, another one is when hit the ground. What should happen when? an obstacle what should happen and when we pass the obstacle what should happen so first thing what we want right now if you run and see we can only see our background but we can't flap our center right because we have not given any coding so that our center can flap so it should flap when we keep clicking on the screen so now let's add the coding for that so what would be the coding for that so we are going to add flap a normal amount when we click. Flap a normal amount when we click. So I'll prefer normal amount. You can choose any amount that you would like to choose. Very small, small, large, very large and you can go with the random also. Okay. And one, what I want, I want the obstacles also to be shown there when I flap. So first I'll set the obstacle. I think chimney would be the preferable one if I am doing center. So I'll choose my obstacle as chimney. Then I need to set the gap also. That what would be the gap between the 
obstacle. So I choose, uh, let's say, large gap. And then I would clap a normal amount when you click on center. And then I want my game to be interactive also. So I'll add a wing now. Okay. So let's see. Instead of wing, I can add jingle. Okay. So now let's run. See? We are halfway. Okay. So now nothing is happening when he is getting onto the ground because we have not added the coding. So we are done with first when run. In under when run, we need to set the background. We need to choose the player. We need to set the speed of the player with which speed our player will work. And then when we click, we want to set the obstacle type. So you can choose from here. Then we need to set the large or whatever option you want to add for the gap. Then don't forget to add a flap, a normal amount under one feet. Only then your player will move. Otherwise, your player won't be moved. It will, it will be just crawling on the ground like I showed you when we have not attached it there. Okay, now next we have when hit the ground, when hit an obstacle, when pass an obstacle. Okay, so what do you all think would happen when we pass the obstacle? Definitely, when we pass the obstacle, we want to give Santa a good score. So we are going to give score a point. And if you want to add a sound, you can add a sound for point. Okay, that's done. And then when what should happen when Santa will fall down? So what we need to do, we have two options. Either you can end the game. Okay, either we can end the game. Or what we can do instead of ending the game when hit the ground. Okay, we can end the game. Under obstacle, we can have that option. Either we can end the game or we can uh, lose the point. We can remove the point. Okay, so when hit the ground, we are going to end the game definitely. So we are going to add the ending game sound, which is crash. Okay. Then when hit the obstacle, what we are going to do instead of ending the game. So let's make it a little twisted game. So we'll set the score back to zero. Suppose you were able to pass 20 obstacles. Then if you hit in between any obstacle, then your score from 20 will go back to zero. Okay. So let's add set score to zero and then we'll end the game. So definitely to make it more interactive, we will add a sound. Let's say push or set. Perfect. So our game is ready to go. Let's hit run and then check what we will be scoring. So I am just trying to score one. I got two. Yeah, I was only had three. So let's give it once more a try so that I can try to score at least 10 points. So one. Oops. I can say I am a good game maker, but I am not a good player. So definitely let me give it a one more try. Yeah, I got one. Oh. Okay, so this was Flappy Bird game. So definitely, all of you, when you will be creating this game, do comment me in the comment section that how, how much score you got. Okay, not like me, two, three, and that's all. So I want to know what all scores you are getting when you are playing this game. So this was Flappy Bird game. Friends, hope you enjoyed this lesson. We'll definitely come back again with a new project. Hope you enjoyed the lesson. Once again, if you like the lesson, please do like and subscribe my channel for more these kind of projects. Thank you. Bye-bye. See you next time. Wait for more.